Looking up at the sky, searching for the most high, he rejected the way of worshiping. All depends on you. It depends on me, of course, but it also depends on all of you. If people come with that talab, with desire, with sincerity, with ikhlas, in order to develop themselves, in order to, they know why are they going. Then even if the whoever there it is, there is in the gathering, it makes it good, and it also gives me a feeling. The proof is the Quran. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was giving dawa to the elites of Mushrikeen. The elites, like you know, they're top-notch people, but they did not have any talab. But Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you know, he got that opportunity. Of course, he was. He would. He was not able to pass on the message to them. They will never listen. And this was an opportunity. They were all in listening mode. No talab, but at least in listening mode. They were not saying anything in return. The Prophet ﷺ thought that is the best time to pass on the message. And Subhanallah, Sayyidina Abdullah bin Maktoum رضي الله تعالى عنه. He came in, a blind sahabi. Blind sahabi couldn't realize what's happening. He didn't realize the Prophet ﷺ is giving an address, you know, giving a speech, addressing the elites of Quraysh, you know, their leaders. And he came with a very simple question. So Prophet ﷺ, of course, has realized the situation. You know, I'm giving a full-fledged speech, you know, to the CEOs of a company, and you know, my colleague he comes in and starts asking me, you know, how do you turn on the computer? For example, I would say, you know, come on, you know, I'll tell you later on. You know, I'm giving a speech, and it's all CEOs sitting. The Prophet ﷺ, of course, natural reaction. He, just, you know, he he just looked at him, you know, frowned a little bit, you know, just tell him, you know, please. But he was a blind man, couldn't see. But he came with so much talab. Even it was such a simple question. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala sent down revelation. Abba sabatawalla. You frowned and you turned your face away. Anja ahul aman. That a blind man came to you. Oma yudri kal allahu yazakka. And how would you know that if you had turned your tawajjo towards him, if you have given him that spiritual attention at that time, he would have gotten his purification of the heart in one instant. It's a proof in the Quran itself that the person, if he comes with talab, and there's full attention from the other side, full tawajjuh, this moment can be enough for a person's purification of heart. For ma yudri kal allahu yazakka, or if he was not able to achieve the heights of the purification of the heart, at least he would have started that journey. Aw yazakkaru fatan fa'ahu zikra. Or you would have reminded me, reminded him, and it would have benefited him. That's the first step in the in the path of purification, in the journey of that purification. First thing is advice, and people take it if there is talab. They will take that advice and they will try to implement that thing in their life, and that would be step number one. So at least you would have gotten that step number one because there was talab. Rama yudri kal allahu yazakka. Either if we would have gotten the pure purification in one instant, أَوْ يَذَّكَّرُ فَتَنْفَعَهُ ذِكْرَى عَبَّسَ وَتَوَلَّا أَنْجَاءَهُ الْأَعْمَى وَمَا يُدْرِيكَ لَعَلَّهُ يَذَّكَّى أَوْ يَذَّكَّرُ فَتَنْفَعَهُ ذِكْرَى أَمَّا مَنْ اِسْتَغْنَى فَأَنْتَ لَهُ تَصَدَّى And these people who were just like, didn't have any talab, and you were concentrating on them, وَمَا عَلَيْكَ أَلَّا يَزَكَّى It was not your job to purify them. They didn't even come with talab. If people don't come with talab, you know, there is no responsibility on the other side as well. وَأَمَّا مَنْ جَاءَكَ يَسْعَى وَهُوَ يَخْشَى 
Allahu Akbar. And that man who came to you and he had that khushi of Allah in his heart. Allah Ta'ala stamp on the, for the heart of Sayyidina Abdullah bin Maktoum radi Allahu Ta'ala anhu. He had that khushi in his heart. I guarantee you that. Anta anhu talaha kalla innahu tazkira. No, this is not the way to give tawa. It's not the way to deal with your students. Give more focus to the people who come with talab. It's just a reminder. It's just a reminder, oh my beloved. Just imagine if Allah Ta'ala has not said this statement. That is just a reminder. Then do, to imagine the heart. What could have happened to the heart of the Prophet It would have burst it. Allah Ta'ala is saying, don't, don't, don't worry. I'm just reminding you. I know it's fine. I know your intention. You were absolutely right in your intention. It's just a reminder. But Allah Ta'ala is giving a principle in the Quran. What sort of relationship should be between a shaykh and their mu'is? If a person comes with talab, give them time. If people don't come with talab, it is وَمَا عَلَيْكَ أَلَّا يَسَّكَّ It's not your responsibility. This is what talab does. We have to develop that talab in our hearts. We don't have talab. We are very, you know, fake. People take baya, go, you know, don't even, you know, no rabata, nothing. No ma'muna, no talab, no desire. How will you get your purification? Have to have that talab. Have to develop that talab. Show that talab. And then when the other side comes in as well, Subhanallah, this one moment, Allah Ta'ala has put this sunnah, this is the means. This is the proof. فَمَا يُدْرِيكَ لَعَلَّهُ يَذَّكَّ أَوْ يَذَّكَّ رُفَدًا بَعْهُ سِكْرًا has to be talab. Looking up at the sky, searching for love most high, he rejected the way of worshipping gods of clay. Prophet Ibrahim knew that Allah was near, and that the heart of a Muslim is sincere. Under the hot burning sun, he declared God is one. Though with stones on his chest, his man would not rest. The more he knew that right would conquer wrong, and the heart of a Muslim.